Hi, I'm Kevin Long from JustMeans.com. I'm coming to you from the Biopolymers Symposium in Denver, Colorado. With me here is Edwin Tam. How are you doing, Edwin? Very good. Good. Now, Edwin, you're with, um, can you say the name of your company? Techno Apex Company. Techno Apex Company. So yes. tell me about Techno Apex. Yes, we are around uh, 89 years old company. Third 80, gen 80. 89 years old? Yes. Okay. Yes, a third generation owned, privately owned company. We are one of the largest independent compounders in North America. You're an independent compounder. So this is what I'm getting from what compounding is. You, you, mm -hmm. take, you take a material, mm -hmm. and, um, and what that material called? Well, in, uh, we, we certainly have eight divisions. Okay. In the bioplastic division, what we do is we take, uh, for example, a polylactic acid. Polylactic acid. PLA. Okay. That made from nature work, and we yep. can take a starch-based type, type material, mm -hmm. or we can pick, uh, take a polyester, yep. and from there we provide a solution to our customers. And so your customers will say, you know, they have a P PLA, um, and they can only build this many things with it. But mm -hmm. by compounding, they can then build this many things with it, and that's where you come into play. That, that's correct. Uh, what 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 happened is, let's say, if a customer is currently using a PLA and there's a deficiency, it could be impact strength, for example. Then we can provide some solution to improve the impact okay. by taking the PLA to add more material or add an, another bioplastic in it mm -hmm. to meet the customer's uh, performance requirement. So that they can build the product that they want to build. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you're at the Biopolymer Symposium. Um, why are you here? Well, there's two things. Number one, I have a short course. Uh, Monday, Monday morning, I have an introduction to bioplastics. Okay. That's for anyone who are new to an industry, want to know about terminology, want to know about types of bioplastics, uh, what kind of certification they need, and so on. Okay. So I taught that class on Monday, but more importantly, I come here to listen to people present papers mm -hmm. and see what's going on the latest, uh, what's the new development. Mm -hmm. This is such an exciting and dynamic uh, industry mm -hmm. that uh, it, year after year, it just continues new things come on mm -hmm. and uh, there's so much to learn here. You know, so, so. Well, so much to learn and your company's been around 89 years. Mm -hmm. How many years have you been into um, biopolymers? It's around two years, two and a half years. So it's uh, very, very recent. That, that's correct. Our company, our president, have the foresight that seeing there's a growth here, there's an emerging technology coming up. So uh, we, we, we created a whole new division around one and a half years ago. So an entire division around biopolymers. That's correct. And that's so right. um, 89 years uh, history, where biopolymer is going to be in 89 years from now? I hope. It's the same, as big as current plastics. So, uh, as big as current plastics. I hope so. Okay. That's why we're here. Okay. Well, if people want to find out more information, um, name of your company and website. Techno Apex Company, www.technoapex.com. Great. Thanks so much, Edwin. This is Kevin Long from JustMeans.com.